Right, what we've got here is a BSA Sporting um, BS uh, series. And uh, this one is a later rifle, um, around about the 1930s, with the push button underlever and uh, the three hole trigger block um, to adjust the trigger. So you've got the high and low adjustments and then the lock is on the back of it. Uh, an absolutely stunning um, walnut stock on this one. Beautiful tiger striping. Um, BSA impressed, heat impressed on the, uh, the pistol grip. And it really is an outstanding stock. Probably one of the nicest BSA stocks that I've seen. Um, really really nice and it's in exceptionally good condition beautiful right so as i say there's no uh, adjustment screw from the front it's uh, a bit like you get in the l series switched over to the push button um, rather than the uh, flat duck type thing or the uh, the side um opening mechanism standard bsa foresight little bead and the standard bsa uh, later type rear sight you'll notice that they've changed the uh, the pivot um, axis on these no longer held by a screw but it's a straight bar and it's held in place by the uh, the little keyhole plate um, this was a uh, a cheapening of the design really a money saving uh, feature of this rifle of this series and also the locking screws a little locking screw on the later on the improved model d's and whatnot on the earlier type that's gone as well um, this would have been photo etched but sadly that has completely worn away and you'll notice as well that the uh, loading tap at the top is now a flat area rather than the more curved, um, straight, uh, sort of rounded earlier loading tap areas. And also the wording of load has gone and it's just got number two uh, for the caliber. So you see it's just a straightforward, straight through pin now, tapered pin that's held in place by the, uh, the, cat, the uh, keyhole bit of metal on the other side no screw at all nonetheless despite these slight sort of cost saving efforts this is still a superb rifle these things packed a right old punch um, really powerful in 2.2 caliber exceptionally good and again as is typical of these BSAs also a very very accurate rifle and just look at that stock. That is gloriously figured tiger stripe walnut. Beautiful, beautiful thing. This rifle really is an outstanding looking thing. Very, very smart rifle. Almost perfect, really. It's just a great shame that the etching has worn away. That was the problem with the X rifles. Uh, generally speaking, it didn't last. Um, and while you do see some rifles with the etching on, uh, there are far, far, far more where it has worn off. Even rifles that are in very, very good overall condition. Um, it's not uncommon for the etching to wear away in time. It's because, generally speaking, even if people try to look after their rifles, if you keep polishing them with oil or wiping them over with an oily rag all the time, every time you use them and just fingerprints handling and all the rest of it um, it just tends to wear the etching away which is rather sad but it's just one of those things but look at that what a beautiful rifle even now you know this is nearly a hundred years old and that is a fine fine rifle and it's also a really nice gun to shoot Superb thing.